Welcome back everyone. When we have talked about break, continue and pass, it created some level of confusion for some people. So I thought, okay, let's make up another video and let's sort it out. To understand the difference between break, continue and pass, let's take another example now. In fact, I guess we are sure with break and I mean, we know the difference between break and continue. Uh, so what continue will do is it will skip the remaining statement, it will go back to the next iteration. So if you're using a for loop here, so if I say for i in range and if I take a loop, let's say of 5 and if I want to print, let's say I want to print here, hello, and I also want to print the value of i. So I'm printing hello and i, right? Now, if I want to skip the element, which let's say 3, so when the i value is 3, I don't want to print it. So in that case, I will say if i is equal to equal to 3, in this case, you can simply skip. I don't want to print it. So you will say continue. So what continue will do is it will skip that iteration. So the moment you say it's 3, it will say continue. It will go back to, right? It will not print the statement. But so you can see if I run this code, you can see we got hello 0, hello 1, hello 2. There is no iteration for 3, right? Because we are skipping it. That's the continue part. The next one is break. Uh, so what break will do is the moment you see i is equal to 3, it will break that loop. So it will not continue with the loop. So even so after a second, it will simply not print anything. You can see the output is 0, 1 and 2. So it is skipping everything. So the entire loop gets break. Okay, that's important. So continue will skip particular iteration and break will skip it. The next one we have talked about is pass, right? Now what is pass? Now again, it doesn't make any sense for, for this example. What I will do is let's take something else. Okay, so there's a concept as functions, classes. Again, we'll be seeing that later. But when we talk about functions, the way we define that is by saying def. Again, what is function, how it works? It's a separate concept, right? But let's say if you want to define a function, normally what we do is we say def and we define a function name. So let's say function name is fun. And I want to define something in this. So normally in function, you write certain statements, maybe one statement, three statement, 10 statement. But normally we need to mention something in a function. Example, if I will say print do something. So this function is doing something, right? It's printing something. It may be having multiple statements. So we can do the same statement multiple times. So you can see we have three statements, right? So normally in function, we expect that you'll, you'll be putting some statements. And then after you are done with the function, you can do your normal task. Let's say if you want to do something else, you can print something or you can assign a variable. Let's say assign variable a equal to five. You can do all those stuff. And you can see there's no problem. There's no compile time issue. The moment you remove this statement, let's say if I think, hey, we will define the function later. So I know the function name now. Function name is fun, but I don't know what to put inside this. Maybe I will change it later. Maybe I will implement that later. But as of now, I just want to define a function fun but I don't know this statement. In this scenario, you can simply say pass. So you are mentioning to your Python that, hey, I'm simply using this function, but I don't know how to implement that. So I will simply say pass, just skip this function, okay? So if you want to keep a function empty, you will use pass. Okay, the same goes for if condition. In this for loop, if you specify a condition if, and you will say if i is equal to four, maybe I want to print by. Okay, at the end, I want to print by, but when you're not sure what you want to print, you just want to keep that condition, but you don't know what to print, you will simply say pass. Maybe you will type this statement later. Whenever you have a block, like if it's a block, right? A function is a block. So whenever you have block, when you don't know that block, what we will have in a block, you will simply say pass. Same applies to class. Maybe in future when we learn about classes, so we'll say class human and we give a colon. And normally we write something in a class, right? Variables and then methods. But as of now, if you don't know what to mention, just simply say pass, okay? So again, it's very different from continue and break because continue and break, we, we normally use them in a function or in a loop. But when it comes to pass, we normally use it to skip the block, okay? So if you define a block and if you don't know what to write inside that, just say pass. I hope it removed some level of confusion from your mind. Still, if you have any issue, let me know in the comment section. I will try to make another video and I do read your comments. Okay, so maybe I will not reply at that point, but I will surely make a video if you are getting stuck somewhere. So that's it everyone. I hope you are enjoying this video. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos.